Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to show you my new toy. I've been speaking about this car for the past 18 months and giving you guys some updates as we've been going along. And it is, I finally got back from paint my 1954 oval window rag top beetle. This is the beetle that I got out of Ohio that's been in the garage for about 30 years. It's a numbers matching beetle, body chassis motor, tranny, front beam. And uh, we finally got the shell back. We've got it here hanging on the lift, and we're starting to starting to assemble the vehicle. So, uh, yes, guys, that is Strato Silver. Uh, that's what people have been asking me on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, so, one of the first things we like to do, of course, when the shell comes back, is just start to assemble it. I start to organize all my parts boxes on the counter here, and we organize everything. Everything's labeled. And, uh, you know, as the car was out getting painted, we start assembling things like the chassis, the seats, things like that. Uh, so when the car comes back, we're just popping it on the shell. So we started loosely attaching the fenders, got some fender beads on, got the horn grills on, we got the wiring harness going here. Um, you know, start putting the running boards on, that's what we did. I like to get the big stuff out of the way so it's not been clogging up my, my shop anymore. Put the bumpers on eventually. Uh, after these fenders are all bolted down So I like to have the car on the lift and doing the fenders this way with the chassis not mounted yet Because then it can really get in underneath here and start bolting things on so uh, But yes, here she is 54 oval rag top uh, Gonna try to haul ass and try to get this thing done. So I have some uh, driving use out of it for this season so uh, but I think she came out really nice and uh, Should definitely be going around the show circuit Okay, so here's the rear of the Beetle. Uh, one of the things I want to point out here is when you, if you have a shell off the chassis like you see here, you see the body off right now. Uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do before you marry the body back down is of course do your en engine insulation tarboards here. Um, these are the ones that we make here in-house and that we sell online. So you're going to want to get those in and you're going to also want to get your engine seals in like you see here. This is over the bell housing that goes over the tranny. And then we got the two flap seal. That's this U-shaped seal that uh, you know surrounds the motor. You know, just want to get these in. I get the German because these are nice and soft. They're a little bit easier to work with than say, you know, a Brazilian or a Mexican uh, type. And it's just not as soft. And it's just really could be difficult to uh, to wedge the seal in between your engine. So we like to do that. And then uh, we eventually lower the body down to the chassis. Like you see here, and it could even keep all the tin wear on your motor, like you see here. The rear most uh, tin is on, and you can do this with the body going straight down to keep all your tin wear on there. Many times, you know, if you're putting a motor into a beetle that's already on the chassis, it's difficult to have this tin on, so uh, uh, you're gonna have to take that off and then put it in afterwards. But uh, when you're dropping the shell like this, it's a nice, nice Mary. All right, guys, so stay tuned as I progress through assembling my 54 oval rag. It should be really cool. Uh, can't wait to drive it. Oval rags, can't beat them. Some of the best uh, Volkswagens out there. So 
Uh, all right, you guys got any questions, uh, pop me an email, chris at classicuwbugs.com. I'll hope to get back to you. I've been getting swamped lately with emails, guys. So uh, if I don't get back to you, please don't take it personally. I'm just uh, bombarded with emails as of late. So, <laughs> uh, but that's it, guys. All right, take care.